Hi, my name's Connor, and today I'd like to introduce you to FormThing, end-to-end -end encrypted forms on the blockchain. So before we get too excited, I just want to let you know that this is a demo only. Uh, please do not use this in production or for sensitive data. If you want to find out more information about all of this, just follow the links in the repo. So without further ado, uh, here I am. I've logged in already using uh, Internet Identity, uh, and I'm going to go and see my forms. So let's go in and view. Now, what's happening in the background is that uh, the front end has made a call to grab the public derived key. It's also made a call to uh, grab the secret derived key based on this form ID here. Uh, and then what it does is uh, decrypt and verify the secret derived key. Um, then it grabs all of the entries associated with this form and decrypts them using the verified derived secret key. We also have a, uh, a public form link here, which is where you can uh, send people to collect um, form submissions. So let's see what that looks like now. Uh, so in the background, it's making a call to the back end to grab the form, uh, which includes a security nonce so that there isn't, it's not going to get attacked by spam. Um, and for now, the demo uh, just has a single form and it's a name and an email. Uh, and if I submit that, what's just happened is that uh, it made a call to grab the public key and it's used the form ID and the public key to encrypt the data. And then it sent that data to the backend and the backend's verified, the form exists, the nonce is valid and all those kind of things. Um, so if I close that and refresh this form here, um, and you can see here, here's the entry that we just made just now. Now we can also change some settings. So we can uh, change the form name. We can shut it down so that it's inactive. However, the interesting thing that we can do is also add another user to this form. So, uh, and you'll see straight away, I'm just going to grab this principle that there is no forms associated with this account. Uh, however, if I add this principle to this form, uh, it will give them access to view form settings and entries. It won't give them access to be able to uh, update uh, any settings, um, but it will give us access to view things. Uh, can see I now have access to the newsletter sign up with three entries and I can view the form. Uh, however, I don't have access to change any settings or delete it, uh, but I can view these entries. Beautiful, there we go. But in the future, I would love to be able to build a fully fledged form builder, uh, just like Google Forms or Typeform or anything like that. Uh, you can also uh, use the backend API to build out your own form. So all you would need to do is create a form and make note of the form ID, and then using whatever tech stack you want on the page where you've got your form, you just need to make a call to the backend canister um, to get the form by ID with the nonce, make a call to the backend canister function to get the derived public key, and then on form submission, you need to encrypt the form data using the public key and the form ID and send it back to the canister function, create entry along with the form ID and nonce. All right, so there we have it. There's form thing. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So please reach out to me uh, with any feedback.